Now I'll demonstrate how to use two-step modulators, the gate and pan targets, and some additional features within the step modulators. Like last time, I fleshed out my song a bit more by adding an additional Alchemy Strings track. Here's what the strings sound like with Step Effects Bypassed. I'll create a new step effects setting to give these strings some rhythmic motion. So again, like in the previous video, I'll start with the factory default setting, I'll turn off the XY pad, and I'll reset the envelope on step modulator 1. This time I want to affect the entire volume of the strings, not just the filter cutoff frequency. So I'll turn off the filter module for now. And I'll change the target of step modulator 1 to gate mix. So with gate mix, step effects gates the audio signal when you shorten a step, disable a step, or pull down the level of a step. So I'll shorten several of these steps and pull out a couple of them completely to create a rhythmic pattern for these strings. Now there's actually a few different ways to achieve this effect. You can use gate mix, gate add, or even master output as a target. First I'll explain the difference between using a gate as a target and the master output as a target. With the gate as a target, the gate can still be reordered in the signal chain down here. For example, here the gate comes before the reverb. If I move the gate after the reverb, you'll hear the reverb gated as well. If you use master output as your target, it'll apply a blue range to the master output knob, and you'll need to adjust this along with the modulation depth to get the desired result. However, keep in mind that the master output comes after everything in the signal chain down here, so you don't have the option to reorder it like with the gate options. But you end up with a similar result as if you put the gate after everything in the signal chain. I don't recommend using the master output for this sort of effect, but here's what it sounds like. I softened the effect by adjusting the attack and release on the envelope. Next, let me explain the difference between gate mix and gate add, because it's a little tricky to understand. Gate mix is the best gate choice in most cases. In this mode, a depth value of 0% results in no change to the sound. As the depth value increases, the volume associated with the low step values decreases, and where the steps are disabled, you hear zero signal as you approach 100% on the depth knob. Negative depth values invert step values, In gate add mode, you get silence when the depth knob is at 0%, and a depth value of 100% sounds identical to gate mix. As you increase the depth value, the volume of the existing steps increases. So instead of working downward from 100% like gate mix, you're working upward with gate add. Like before, negative depth values invert step values. For this example, I'll use gate mix. Now what I want to do is add a panning modulation so that the signal also moves left and right in the stereo field as it plays. To do this, I can enable my second step modulator and choose pan as the target. You'll notice that with pan you see a bi-directional step as opposed to a unidirectional step. A step all the way up is left, and a step all the way down is right. If you click on this custom menu, you can choose a variety of pre-made step sequences based on factory rhythmic settings or based on LFOs. Let's try out the sine wave LFO shape. Now that's moving a little too slow for my taste. I'll speed it up by doubling the step rate to 30 second notes.
You can also pull down the depth knob to narrow the extremes of the panning effect.